Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the reading. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general love reading. Some messages may or may not be for you. We're going to take a look at who's coming towards you. This is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. Okay, Virgo. So we're going to see who's coming towards you and what the energies are for August. Also, if you want to get a personal reading, there is a link in the description box below this video. Okay, can't pick this up. You have wedding rings, you have date, meaning somebody new. Wow, Virgo. Okay, let's get into this. And also talking. Wonderful. Okay, Virgo. So, let's see here. Wedding rings, union, wedding, marriage. Looks like somebody, oh, someone coming in for a real soul connection. This person, uh, it looks like this is somebody new you may be dating or this person getting back out there planning setting a date you will be it looks like you're talking to somebody in august um conversing more you might be meeting somebody um interested conversing more awaited message arrives text call email hoovering Ooh, there's definitely interest coming out here with someone that's a possible soul connection, possible soul union for you. Okay, Virgo, that's good news. All right, let's get into this here and see what more we can find out about this person coming towards you, what they're like, what their energies are. All right, let's take a look. Okay, so the death card. Wow. So this is going to be a very transformative kind of experience for you, Virgo. This is Scorpio energy. So you might have Scorpio in your chart somewhere, um, or this could be a Scorpio. Let me see what else, but it's very, wow. <laughs> it's very sexy. This would fit my OnlyFans reading, wouldn't it? Okay, so a very passionate, fun, exciting kind of energy lusty free-spirited experience um i love it okay let's see and a free-spirited kind of person let's see here wow super attracted okay so hmm i feel like the message here is connecting with this person yeah, I mean, I feel like when you meet this person, they will want to pretty much jump your bones. <laughs> I hope I can say that on my channel. But, but, um, they will be kind of reserved about that. So they're not just going to, like, come off as someone, um, I want to say who's going to just act on their uh, passionate feelings at first. I mean, there's definitely that energy is playing out here, but I feel like with the nine of wands, this person kind of just, you know, they, they're, res they're reserved, you know? They're kind of like, hmm, well, maybe I shouldn't just approach too quickly with that energy, although the attraction will be crazy. I mean, this person, they come across very passionate, um, exciting like an adventure type of a person i definitely see you talking to somebody and connecting with someone new here in august all right let's see what else is going on i feel like this person okay so could be also be a virgo taurus capricorn but i feel like this person they hold they'll hold back in august because they don't want to um like they want to show respect i feel you know but th it, you know what I mean? It's like there's restraint. I feel like this person will be restraining themselves towards you. Okay. Now look. Okay. Someone might be on the cusp of Leo Virgo. Yeah. Restraint. Like trying to be strong. Holding back. And I feel Virgo. That also could be your energy. Where you connect with this person. Um, where you may be like, oh my gosh. You know, you just kind of want to make it move really quick if you know what i mean but i do see you also restraining yourself and not you know going for the one night one nighter kind of thing um both of you though so both of you acting this way it could be a leo as well and we also have oh my gosh the empress taurus so virgo feels like this person um 
I feel like when they connect with you, when they meet you, there's something they see in you that you are just extremely attractive. They find you extremely attractive and, and very attracted to you, the way you look, the way you hold yourself, um, the way you present, the way you walk, what you represent. You have like this um, pedestal type of energy to this person. Let me see what else. Um, I'm also hearing, you may hear this person say, um, you remind me of my mother <laughs> or my father. Like it's, I don't, I don't know, just that's what I'm hearing. So let me see. Okay. So I feel like this, you know what, Virgo, I kind of feel like this person, um, they've been struggling they work really hard i see that too like i feel like this person does some type of physical labor i don't see, they're not a desk set at a desk kind of person you know just all brain all boogies and brains i feel like this person is more along the lines of like an outdoor or a physical they do physical work okay so let's see either way there's definitely going to be a date you're definitely going to be talking to somebody here and um there is a a soul connection for sure like possibly so somebody might be on the cusp of libra scorpio as well i'm just hearing so this person coming in um very charming and alluring and very attracted to you okay let me see okay i also have the queen of cups so cancer pisces scorpio so it looks like everybody's showing up here <laughs> My goodness, Virgo. Um, some of you might meet this person through um, an older female as well. There might be a connection with them from like connected to an older female or um, a female who is a mother. Okay, let me see. All right, three cards here. Wow. I feel like Virgo, um, there's definitely a new start happening here. Um, I kind of get a sense like this is your energy, Virgo, where you have this one last shot for love mindset, you know, where it's like if this doesn't work out, that's it. I'm, I'm throwing in the I'm throwing in the towel. I feel like that's kind of your mindset, but you're going to be surprised. I feel like you're going to be totally surprised by this energy from this person coming in where it's just I don't know if it's unexpected when you connect with this person you might feel like because they hold back with the physical passion that they're not interested but it's actually quite the opposite they're um, restraining themselves because their interest is so immense and powerful like almost to the point where if they were to have that physical connection with you super quick, I feel like it would just completely, what's the word I'm hearing? It would, it, it's just so explosive. I don't know what it is. I feel like this person doesn't want to, um, they're trying to maintain a sense of control self-control it that's the energy that i'm picking up here so i that's why i feel like they're going to be restraining themselves they're very strong there's a lot of physical strength to this person as well okay um just very powerful let me see what else here is going on with this person Oh, wow. Yeah, see, I mean, there's so much physical passion connected to this person, but they're going to maintain and be tempered and try to do the right thing here. I don't I, like, eh, I mean, I don't know, maybe go like three days, but I feel like this person, Libra Sagittarius, I feel like they're just, they're, they're going to let their feelings try to, um, uh, try to explore their feelings first before they explore their passionate energies here with you. So, you know, this person coming towards you, Virgo, um, it feels like it's a new date. You'll start, you might already be talking to this person or you will start talking to this person. Um, but this is definitely meaning somebody new. Yeah, there's definitely going to be communication, clarity. I feel like this person comes in very honest and truthful. They're fair. They're reasonable. Um, 
and they're ready for something new for sure here with you now like i said some of you will that you'll be introduced to this person for some of you by another person now they you maybe you work in a in a physical kind of job or a place where um it's like there's a physical career i'm not really sure like it's either um for some of you this could be like someone who works in the fitness industry there's a lot of physicality with with that type of industry or they are on um some kind of manual labor uh type of work is what i feel for some of you this could be someone who's coming to do some work around your area maybe like where you live or on your home um, also could be someone that you meet at like a, maybe a, in a fitness place as well um, there's definitely interest being generated with this person in August and from this like you know it's just a coming together kind of thing okay yeah here's the home card so for some of you like I mean this could be a landscaper <laughs> or the pool boy <laughs> it's just someone who's you know um, they're going to be around your area like where you live around your home or connected to your family's home something along those lines okay um i'm picking up like someone like a builder as well i don't know not bob the builder but it's definitely a builder energy too some type of um someone that's got like the physicality okay um could be strength training or doing something along those lines that kind of uh job that kind of career let me see here so the queen of swords is here also so libra gemini aquarius oh this is, oh. oh wow okay so virgo this kind of feels to me like um Someone's also going to tell you that okay for some of you they might all right so they're also seeing um there's also someone who works as a prison guard as well or they work in a prison or something i don't feel like this person's in jail or anything they're coming out of jail but i also feel like someone's going to tell you that they know this person and tell you about them like give you give you like some straight up truth that this person um was in a relationship before and they offered or they proposed to someone before um, out of a sense of desperation and it was a wrong move and that person wasn't right for them so I kind of feel like if they know who who this new person is that maybe they're going to introduce you to or connect you with and give you a little bit of a backstory about this person's history you know like what they've gone through um, and you know they get a little bit of baggage like who doesn't have a little bit of baggage okay but the truth is definitely going to come out and let me see it's two of swords here why is the two of swords here okay hmm that's interesting so i feel like um this kind so this gives me a sense of like this like you might receive you'll be talking to this person online yeah there's going to be some type of communication um exchanging phone numbers text message that kind of stuff um and i feel like this person will ask you out but i'm also picking up someone is going to be sending you a text message or some kind of message then this feels like from someone who already has your phone number and this is i don't feel like this is connected to this person i feel like you're going to get like some kind of an anonymous message or call um that's kind of out of the blue um this feels like someone who has access to you already so while you do have something new or someone new coming in here you also have um someone else who has your number who's either going to be text message sending a message to you and you won't know it's either an unknown number or it's a block number um or like they call with like no caller id or from a strange phone number um 
saying something like I love you um, or sending like some type of sweet message to you I don't Virgo I don't feel like this is connected to this new person because they don't you haven't met them yet and I don't feel like they have your 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 digits or any kind of information either someone's gonna there you're gonna definitely get like a strange reach out from somebody where you're, you're gonna question it like who is that who's sending me these messages I love you um, I miss you and you won't be able to pinpoint who it is but I feel like you should follow your intuition about that like trust your gut yeah look you're gonna be getting a lot of them Wow I don't know who this other person is but they might be like I feel like this whoever this person is coming towards you this other person um they have some kind of inclination that you're dating or you're talking to others or that you are making yourself available um and hmm i'm not really sure why they're doing this but i think oh that makes sense this person is showing up um as being like not letting you go being kind of possessive i just saw the king of swords i don't know where it went but if it comes out again, then that will confirm it. But this person is definitely a little possessive. They are th this other person. Um, they're trying to like, I feel like they don't want you to forget them, Virgo. They don't want you to forget them. They haven't let go, but they are definitely blocking their number um, or they're reaching out from a fake profile somehow some way yeah Virgo oh my gosh okay Emperor it for some of you this could be an Aries it could also be um like an ex-parent you know like if you co-parent with someone it could be an ex um you know that person for some of you I'm hearing either your boss okay let me see who is this person okay so it looks like it was someone hmm no they don't yeah so why are they doing this because like I said that just really confirms it because they think that you're out you know mingling and you're having a good time and enjoying your life you know flirting spending time with your friends celebrating being happy enjoying doing what you're doing Okay, so you've got obviously two different people showing up here. One is new and the other person, I'm not 100% sure what the connection is. Let me see if I can find out what is the connection with Virgo and this other person who I don't know if it's, I mean, it's definitely secretive. They're definitely secretive. So I don't, okay, Pisces for some, or Cancer. I don't know if this person, like you have... Did you date this person? Were you married or in a long-term relationship? Who is this person? Oh, there you go. Okay, it showed up. So, King of Swords. There you go. Okay. So, you have someone with air energy here. Um, secretively either spying or being deceptive. Because they are definitely with this Four of Pentacles. Holding on. They do not want to let go. They want to be the main squeeze but i don't so you must not be with this person anymore like i said libra gemini aquarius and they could also have air in their chart somewhere it could be their their rising sun their moon uh it looks like they'll probably have it in their moon air moon aquarius moon libra moon okay for some of you let me see why doesn't this person leave Virgo alone? Oh, here's King of Cups too. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So they could have water, moon, element, or be sun. Why won't this person leave Virgo alone? Okay. Hmm. Seven of Wands. Oh my gosh. This person, Virgo, does not want you to move on and get into another commitment with anybody else. They're going to try to block that. What the hell? Yeah. 
they want to be able they want you to want them they don't want you to want anybody else okay so hmm remember i said and i did say that you've got hold on let me get my cards up you've got talking here but there's hoovering so you have someone here who is yep text call email hoovering as well you've got someone here who's going to be trying to you know get in with you hoovering a little bit okay three of swords so hmm so they're either going to try to sabotage a new relationship or you meeting somebody new and being happy um or they're, they're just heartbroken and this person doesn't want you to go the distance with someone else but why okay yeah they don't want you to make this change but why oh well that answers it <laughs> They're like completely like, oh my gosh, Virgo, that devil energy. Nope, Capricorn, this Taurus, perhaps this person is just not, they're, they're like addicted to you. Like, like you're it, like you're it. I mean, maybe it's toxic, a toxic past type of situation. Um, but you know what, Virgo, I kind of feel like some of you are just like whatever you expect it you're just gonna block this past person um why because you have the two of swords there you might be blocking why okay oh this answers it 100 percent. because you've healed from some kind of past betrayal right you hit rock bottom <laughs> you got your hope back you don't want some type of toxic kind of energy and you freed yourself from some past betrayal or some just really negative nastiness so it looks to me like you um yeah you, you're on this healing journey some of you just you're starting over what was the deal with this like what was this just betrayal or like this person was um very cloudy uh, even with that moon just kind of not being completely transparent that kind of energy another card fell you guys I drop my cards all the time okay wheel of fortune I'm asking why this person like what happened why this deception oh that's weird they're they're telling me okay somebody who's trying to get lucky they just were trying to like have things be in their favor huh that's weird they wouldn't change this okay this person just they wouldn't they didn't make any changes they they wouldn't they were kind of childlike and they didn't make any changes in their life like maybe they kept going back to an ex or they were stuck on an ex they wouldn't let that go um and they were just kind of being a bit, I don't know, it just feels like child, not, not grown up, not like grown up, not mature, lacking some kind of maturity. And now I feel like this person is, has changed. And they want you to give them another chance, Virgo. They want that. But look, Virgo, I don't know. Some of you, I mean, you definitely have new love com coming in. You have a new start with someone coming in here for you that you're either you're currently talking to or will be talking to um why do my things keep going off but i i do feel like this person does not want to let this past person um huh. yeah they want to try to work on things but it, i mean if you give them a chance that's up to you virgo but it feels to me like you have definitely someone new coming in but you have someone here who does not want you to move on they don't want you to move on okay so you know whatever you do with that of course as i always say it's completely up to you but let me see what other messages there are here for you wow virgo you know what yeah so this there's a lot of regret with that virgo what the hell what is the deal this past person has a lot of regret i don't know that they're trying to like purposely sabotage and then do nothing about it i feel like this person i don't know how they find out that you have somebody new i feel like they might just sense it and this person is like 
completely hitting rock bottom. You know, like the very thing I feel like you felt in that relationship with the Ten of Swords where you felt betrayed and you just like you hit rock bottom yourself with the relationship. Now it's happening to them. And as you're moving on and you have someone new and you have like um, an actual uh, opportunity for a long term, beautiful connection, right? A new love start. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. I don't even know what to tell you. <laughs> yep. So you're going to be getting love messages from somebody new here and also from this past person. Are, and they're not going to reveal them. This past person is not going to be revealing themselves. But I think when you get the message, you'll kind of know that it's them hiding they, I feel, why is this person doing this? Because I just feel like they don't want you to forget them. But they don't want, they're very indirect with these messages. It's like so super passive aggressive. Like stop, just come right out and be open and honest and just be direct, you know? Um, I don't know, that's kind of sneaky behavior. They're still kind of in that moon energy, the way they're approaching you. I mean, I feel like if this person, you know, if this is someone that... I feel like some of you might know who this is. If this, you know, I feel like if they just came direct to you, but I feel like they don't want to get rejected. But, you know, so they're kind of whatever. It's so stupid. It's just so stupid. <laughs> yeah, you've got the wish card, Virgo. So I feel like your wishes are being answered here. The things that you've been asking for in your prayers, your dreams you know, going forward. And I feel like you're just kind of, it looks like you're not interested in the past thing, unless there's been this massive major change. Like, I feel like this past person would have to come in like a as a completely different person, you know? Um, and if they have to do that, then what's really even the point, right? But um, some of you like are waiting, not waiting, but it's like, well, Come in with a bloody stump, you know, or just don't, don't be doing the tit for tat, Virgo, because you look to me like you're very focused on your future. Let me take a look at you. I just want to look a little more specifically at you here. Let's see. Show Virgo what their energy is going forward in August. Okay. Yeah. Love it. Oop, I can't even pick up these cards. So you've got the Fool and you have the Page of Wands. So you're super excited, taking risks. You have your faith, new beginnings happening here. You're open to all the new possibilities. Um, trusting in life, love, seeking those opportunities, pleasure, adventure. You know, beautiful energy here. Even with the Page of Wands, it's like talking to new people, feeling inspired. Um, you just, it just feels like an energy of limitless potential here. You're ready to explore. You have your freedom. This is all about freedom. And that's the energy that you are in in August. Like you're open. You're, you're ready to have that crush feeling again and to connect with somebody new. You're, you're like getting into this excite, you know, being excited again for love. That kind of energy, which is great. It doesn't, it looks like you've freed yourself in the past. You've balanced everything out. You know, you're definitely a lot more sensible now than you were before. And finding meaning and purpose in your life, for sure. So your energy looks really amazing. I don't feel like you are looking backwards. You know, I just feel like this is one of those picnic flies you know with this past person doing this indirect kind of stuff you know like if you've received messages from someone or you're getting like strange inclinations or things that are indicating to you that somebody's reaching out and you know who it is but they're not being direct this is definitely what's going on yeah here's the page of swords like you're uh, you've got your curiosity here for sure um but you're not communicating the way you used to, and you expect other people to communicate directly with you, OK? 
okay. Um, but you are kind of like paying attention to these strange messages that you're getting. Um, not that you're giving it any more than a one second thought, but some of you are just kind of like, all right, yeah, here we go. This fly is trying to get on my watermelon and I just have to keep swooshing it away because the person's coming in very indirect, but that's fine, whatever. It's, it's kind of like mountains versus molehills i feel like the, <laughs> i feel like i feel like the molehills are more more of a struggle because they're like just a little bit of annoyance at times but it looks to me like you'll take one last glance at it and then you won't really give it much of a thought because it's not really coming in directly towards you like nobody's really saying anything it's just these little things you know it's like it's like when you get one of those little candy hearts with a tiny little message on it like there's it's sweet but there's really nothing more to it <laughs> you know what i mean so i kind of feel like your your energy will be like all right well oops i should cover her up uh, let me just i'll look back one time but that's going to be the gist of it i'm going to turn that over and you'll just keep moving forward so that's pretty much what's going on moving forward into the arms or this have your sights set on somebody new in your life you know here's the tower with the three of swords it's just like your i don't know you're changing that heartbreak situation that you feel like you've been in you have that sudden insight happening here and definitely an awakening yeah, to that past energy, like, no, this past person is trying to sabotage. Instead of just coming out and saying, hey, you know, you know, like when you go to a wedding and then they say, like, um, if anyone is opposed to this marriage, please speak up now, forever hold your peace. And I feel like this, this past person is, they're not going to speak up. They're, you know, that you need someone to speak up and just say it, just come right out and say it. And instead, they're just kind of like, I don't know, <laughs> doing the ventriloquist situation, like saying what they're saying, but acting like it's not coming from them. It doesn't matter. Virgo, I feel like for you, you know, whether you want to give somebody from the past another chance, it's irrelevant if they're not coming clean and coming correct, you know, and I feel like some of you have waited and you thought about it for quite some time. And it looks like you're just moving on. You're, you're, you're going to be getting a new date from someone showing up here and starting your life. So it looks amazing. All right, let me just get the romance angels. Just want to see. Let me see. All right, healing some past issues for sure. So forgiving the parents, healing from family issues, moving on, healing some from, yeah, while you're in separation from someone, starting your life over. Some of you are separating from family. So you can heal some stuff in your life at this time. And um, you're, some of you might just be taking time apart from someone. You know, that person who's trying to kind of come back in. Um, so you can explore your other options in August as well. And I, I feel like, Virgo, that person... Yeah, look, you're releasing your ex, definitely, or you already have. You're in separation from them. You're trying to clear your energy and start over in your life, putting yourself, like, just to forget somebody here. Okay. So some of you may be connecting with this new person during a holiday. So we are in August. I don't think there's any holidays unless, unless you have a birthday in August. <laughs> You might be spending time with somebody new on your birthday as well. Um, or, you know what, though? It is August. Everybody, A lot of people go on vacation. Not everybody. A lot of people go on, like, the actual, they go away in August. So there may be something here if you go on some kind of vacation um, or you go somewhere with family or others. You meet somebody while you're on vacation or you're going on some kind of vacation with someone like a vacation kind of date. Maybe it's just you going for a weekend as well, enjoying the bliss of your time together. Um, if you've already been talking to this person, there's something coming up in August. Yeah, and there you are, staying optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith brings you romance. So Virgo, I kind of feel like you, you know, 
I, I, I kind of feel like that I don't see you being triggered by a past person trying to stop you from moving forward. I kind of feel like if you do get triggered by that or you know it's that person and they're not doing anything except, you know, being a fly on your hamburger outside at a picnic, I feel like you'll just kind of shoo it away and just keep moving forward. I don't see you getting kind of hooked on anything or concerned or worried I, I don't feel like there's a threat or anything like that i just kind of feel like your energy is like you know oh well there it is kind of expected it but nothing's gonna happen nothing has happened this person's not doing anything and i've got something amazing someone amazing coming in that i have a, that there's a great potential okay so you have trust it's safe to trust in this situation and you can trust that these obstacles, I feel like you will get through whatever obstacles. It might be like, like I said, remember I said like mountains and molehills. This feels like a little bit of a molehill. It's not like this terrible, egregious situation that you have to like overcome because this person is not coming directly to you and saying, hey, you know, or this past person, hey, um, you know, I really miss you. I want to try to work things out. They're not being upfront. Okay. They are changing, but they're still kind of doing some shady behavior and i feel like this obstacle for you will be more like um a molehill you know it won't be anything that you really be thankful for that i guess virgo <laughs> be thankful for that for some of you and until that happens there's no sense in dealing with anything other than somebody coming correct so here and now your true love is already a part of your life okay for some of you you have been dating somebody new or you've been connecting with somebody new so i feel like this may be your true love right there is a soul connection okay just remember to have your boundaries in place virgo as you go forward with anybody new it's very important let me see what else okay oh wow you can be completely open with this new person nice no stress there okay balance harmony i love it okay let's get another couple of cards and see what else is going on here for you um let's try to see what this new person their chinese sign or yours okay so they may be a rat so we're going to look at okay the new person a rat snake a rat and snake <laughs> they keep telling me a rat and the snake so this new person is either born in the year of the rat or the year of the snake let me just take a look at this past person is a goat dragon pig dragon okay there you go virgo you know you're reading sometimes i'm just like <laughs> why does it feel like whenever you get to this place where something new and beautiful and wonderful opportunity comes to you i feel like the past situations show up and try to kind of sabotage or trigger you from having your growth i almost feel virgo like you get these little tests just based on these readings you know like you keep getting tested and to see if you're you know how strong you are and if you're still heading in the same direction you're still you know walking towards growth and healing and freeing yourself from negative situations so i love that you have somebody new coming in who is coming in with like you know restraint and respect and um, even though there's this incredible physical attraction and this person becoming very adventurous and wants to have fun with you, I don't just mean the physical intimacy, but, you know, actually doing things together. I feel like they're not going, they don't want to scare you away and um, make you feel like it's just, just going to be a fling. I feel like this person will be trepidatious and um, a bit hesitant and cautious with you you know so i kind of like that in a lot of ways um now some of you virgos might be like hell no bring on the fun and once you show that to this person i feel like they'll be all for it they're, it just feels like they're gonna let you kind of lead the way you know all right let me see okay 
someone is born on September 8th. Yes, September 8th. Very strong message. Um, I, mean, I just heard somebody's last name is Noel, like K-N-O-L-L. K-N-O-L-L, Noel. Okay, and now I'm hearing a knock at the door. Uh, somebody's getting a knock on their door. Okay, <laughs> all right. Okay, let's see. Um, wow. Oh, they just gave me some strong Aries vibe right here. I'm just picking up some strong Aries vibes. Somebody is enjoying Jello. I know in like maybe in Britain or the UK they call it jelly, but in America it's you know gelatin, a gelatin sweet snack, jello, or a Jolly Rancher. Somebody's eating a Jolly Rancher. They're sucking on a piece of fruity candy. Okay. Alright. Somebody is very much an athlete or a jock. Okay. It's just like a label, but it's very athletic. Someone's very athletic. Um, I'm also picking up the number 310 okay and someone is 46 okay hmm somebody has a really great butt somebody likes another person's butt booty let me see that booty <laughs> and I see someone, they're kind of like standing there chewing gum and rolling a yo-yo. Chewing gum and rolling a yo-yo. All right. Um, now I'm picking up September 10th and August 30th. September 10th and August 30th. An initial S, and someone says you're sassy. You're really sassy. Okay, the initial S. Okay. I'm hearing the name John or Jonathan. Okay, um, so they're giving me the letter O, initial O, the initial N as in no, <laughs> or Nicholas or Nicole. I'm getting a B, and uh, the letter W. So these could be somebody's 52, someone's also 54. Um, Picking up the age 52, 54. Um, someone is 42. There's age 42. I'm also picking up between 20, 24, 25. Age 24, 25. Okay. Let's get some charms. I'm going to skip the uh, numbers today. We'll give Steve -O a break. We gave him his numbers already. Okay. So you've got a star. And you have an airplane. Leaving on a jet plane. Okay. So, there's definitely a trip. Someone's going somewhere, flying on a plane. Uh, a, like a, what is that? A DC, a 747. Maybe somebody's going to DC. And you also have a white star. Wow, that's awesome. Okay. This is definitely, um, I'm, I'm picking up, someone's flying at night. So either it's either you or another person. Um, there could be like a trip. Like I said, remember there was like a vacation or a honeymoon or somebody. Wherever you go, uh, you have to take a plane. Okay, maybe somebody could be a pilot. Um, you might meet somebody on a plane as well. I'm just hearing that. 
but that white star um huh they just told me white star line maybe somebody's oh someone going down to see the titanic a uh, trip in a submersible submersible i hope not i mean i don't mind if you do but i pray for you <laughs> that's quite a trip and i hope that it's safe i pray that it'll be safe for you um yeah i'm just hearing something though i, I don't know they just said white star line but i mean i know it doesn't even exist right i don't think so or right, there might be a cruise maybe somebody's going on a boat taking a plane and then going on a boat going on some kind of cruise in august little honey little honeymoon or holiday trip of some sort with someone if you are like wherever you go if you're okay. going on a trip you may be meeting also somebody while you're on that trip you know what i mean and this turns into like the love of a lifetime kind of thing um i'm also seeing someone you could be meeting someone in an airport at night as well or maybe someone might work in an airport <laughs> does something you know with the airlines maybe works on the airlines pilot or um, um, a flight attendant something along those lines as well there's some connection there I'm just feeling like a connection to someone on a flight past present or future is definitely a connection to someone and shooting stars like a wish a wish that came true as well or comes true all right Virgo so I'm gonna leave that there don't forget you guys can get a personal reading with me for August discounted 45 minute reading. Also join my OnlyFans where I do some spicy readings. I upload those every Monday by 5 p.m. Eastern. The link is below in the description box. Thank you everyone for donating to the child rescue campaigns. Just touches my heart. Every time I see that number go up, I'm so grateful for any and every amount you've given. Thank you to those of you who are buying me coffee. By the way, super awesome of you. All those links to do all that cool stuff. One link in my description box below this video link tree. So yeah, I will see you guys back here tomorrow where we're going to look at who, I think it's who's watching you. I'm not sure, but who's spying on you. So we'll take a look at that. All right, you guys have a great night and uh, I'll catch you tomorrow. Bye.